Why is listening important for English learners? English learners have access to a lot of information to listen to on the internet. Since so much communication happens in English online, students can enjoy it socially and benefit from it professionally. So much information comes through listening now. If you ask someone what the last book or newspaper they read was, they might not be able to answer you. But if you ask them what the last podcast or newscast they listened to was, they would probably be able to tell you. News, entertainment, sports, they're all consumed largely through listening. If a student wants to fully participate in these online spaces, they will need the skills to listen. When students participate in a multiplayer game, for example, they meet players from around the world working together on teams. And a live chat feature is used for players to work together to achieve a goal, like winning the game. But if one player can't understand what the teammates are shouting into their microphones, particularly in the heat of battle, they might make a choice that affects the outcome of the game for everyone. Now, games are not typically high stakes, but teammates may be frustrated with someone for making an error that loses the game, and the error could affect the player's social standing in the group. In higher stakes arenas like school and work, listening well is even more important. In our increasingly global economies, there is a good chance that students will be communicating with someone from another school or partner company in the common language of English. In school, students learn by listening to teachers and other students. Listening at school prepares students for listening at work. If a worker mishears something and doesn't ask for clarification, they may make a decision that adversely affects the company and their own career. At a minimum, interaction with coworkers, customers, and bosses requires the ability to have discussions and come to agreements. These critical workplace skills are dependent on workers understanding each other clearly, so they are confident in sharing and receiving information. Clearly then, listening skills are important for both social and job-related domains in this connected world. Professor Wilkin pointed out that listening is an important way of gaining access to information in the world today. The internet brings news, information, and entertainment to the world using oral language. Many people are always on their devices, listening to someone and something. And there is just a lot to listen to in English. A lot of the news is broadcast in English. A lot of the communication between people in different countries happens in English. So anyone who wants to participate is wise to learn to listen in English. She also pointed out that listening is essential for speaking. To engage in conversation, a speaker has to be able to understand what the other person is saying. Understanding the other person is important for making important contributions to the conversation. So really, listening is part of speaking. In the next video, I asked Professor Wilkin what teachers need to know about listening. She pointed out that listening is difficult, but that listening skills can be taught. She described two types of listening skills and explained how teachers can help students develop those skills.